Hello, I'm Evan White, and I'll be narrating this training video, which explains the employer's and the employee's rights and obligations in regard to accommodating employees and job applicants with psychiatric disabilities in the workplace. When we think of disabled people, we most often visualize someone in a wheelchair, a person who is blind or hearing impaired. However, there are at least as many people who have mental or invisible impairments who must by law be provided with equal access to work including all terms and conditions of employment, such as promotion, compensation, and a harassment-free environment. A job applicant may choose to disclose his or her disability prior to employment or uh, once they're on the job. However, most pre-employment medical inquiries are strictly prohibited by the ADA. Assume the same facts regarding Mary's disability, but in this scenario, she is working in a four-person computer repair shop which is open nine to five. In addition to her difficulty working in close proximity to the owner, Sam, and her two co-workers, she also has difficulty relating to the customers, which is an essential job function. What are the rights and obligations of the employee and the employer, assuming this business is as described, a small business that operates regular hours five days a week with no alternate shifts? Well, since one of the employees is the owner, it would be difficult for the other two co-workers to do their jobs without Mary's assistance, so the employer would have the right to deny the accommodation and, in the alternative, to terminate Mary. 